When I moved into a newly built home, the side yard was only an 8 foot wide strip of grass. Eventually, I planned to eliminate all the grass, but I started along the side for a patio and to create some privacy from the neighbors. Here's how I did it. The first step was to remove the sod. This can be a painstaking process, but it was so newly planted that it was easy to pull up in sheets. Thankfully, my yard was already fairly level, so no further leveling was needed. I measured the length and width of my patio to get the right number of concrete 12 by 12 inch paved stones. I picked metal edging for the border, and using the required metal stakes, I hammered the landscape edging around the edges to hold in the pavers. Then, I laid the base for the pavers. I filled in the area inside the landscape edging with about one and three quarters inch of paver base. It's a coarse, rough-edged gravel aggregate that when compacted, will lock together to form a firm base layer. I used a tamping bar to compact the surface. If you put pavers or bricks onto bare soil, eventually they will shift and create an uneven surface. Aside from being a tripping hazard, your furniture could also rock around. Then I spread the paver sand. A sand base allows the pavers to maintain their position securely. The paver sand also allows you to shift bricks a little at a time during installation to create an even surface. The landscape edging I used was four inches in height and I wanted my one and a half inch thick paver stones to sit flush on the top of the edging. To accomplish this, I made a leveling tool out of wooden two by fours and one by fours. The concept is that when the paver sand layer is added, you can drag this board across the top of the edging and it scrapes down the sand to the proper thickness for the paver to rest flush with the edging. Position the bricks into the sand one row at a time. Use a rubber mallet to tap each one into place, making minor adjustments as needed. If one row of paver stones starts to be off square, then every row following that one will get even worse. So, measure and use a framing square after each row is in place to check that everything is straight. I added a row of rectangular paver stone to act as stepping stones. To help them stay sturdy and in place, I used a hammer and drove 10 inch galvanized spike nails into the ground on all sides of each paver. For the rest of the space, I filled it with bagged landscape rocks. For privacy, I wanted to use a fast growing bamboo. I didn't want to risk the bamboo spreading through my yard or even worse, into my neighbor's yard. My solution was to plant the bamboo in metal troughs, also known as livestock tanks. I raised the containers several inches off of the ground by setting them on leftover bricks that I had. This allows me to periodically look underneath and check for any roots that could potentially escape through the drainage holes. And then I used a half inch metal drill bit to drill even more holes throughout the bottom of the container. For Backyard Basics, I'm Mark Morrow. If I can do it, so can you.